Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about Windows 11 24H2, but the LTSC version. We're going to talk about the differences between the Pro version and LTSC, and if it's worth it or not to use the long time support version of Windows 11 24H2. So I'm doing this video because Windows 11 24H2 LTSC version was also released alongside with Windows 11 24H2 Pro. So I think this is the best opportunity to talk about the differences and if it's worth it or not to use that on a main computer or maybe on a testing computer. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Windows 11 24H2 LTSC version has the build number 26100.1742. As you can see, version 24H2 Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC Evaluation. So LTSC stands for a long time support. The problem with LTSC is that this is a version created especially for enterprises, companies. So so if a normal user uses this version, it will only have a license for about one year before needing to reinstall the operating system. But of course, I've used Windows 10 LTSC before. I used it on a main computer and I usually reinstall the operating system once a year. But one thing about LTSC is that it is a more reliable and faster version of Windows. In this case, Windows 11 24H2. This version, as you'll notice, doesn't include anything extra. It doesn't even have the Microsoft Store and it only receives security updates so you won't have any feature updates or anything like that, only security updates. And as you can see, it has no plotware whatsoever. You only have Edge, Settings, and File Explorer pin on, on the Start menu, and everything is very, very well optimized. If you go into the Task Manager, you're also going to notice that you have way less services and processes running because, of course, Windows doesn't need as many processes as it needs on the Pro version. Anything else should work on Windows 11 LTSC, for example, games, software, and more. But if you're using Xbox or anything like that and you need Microsoft Store, we're going to have to manually install by the Microsoft Store and do a few tricks. But if you're the kind of person that uses a mid-range to low-end computer and doesn't want to have all the new features and all the new updates coming to their operating system and want to have a long-time support version that is reliable and won't have any issues, of course, Windows 11 LTSC is an option. Now, if you ask me, of course, you need to think well about this because, as I've said, Windows 11 LTSC is made for organizations, companies, enterprises, so there's no way to license this. And without a license, you're only going to be able to use the operating system for about one year. That's not necessarily a bad thing because, of course, you get to reinstall Windows, I think, once a year, maybe twice if you have a low end computer. Because trust me, I know I had that kind of computer before, and reinstalling Windows was something that really helped with the resource consumption and all that. It also uses very little space. I'm on File Explorer, and as you can see, it uses around 20 gigabytes for the whole installation. I think that is great. But you'll notice that certain features from the Pro version won't be here. For example, if I'm going to open the Notepad app, you're going to see that it is a older version, maybe a version that we could find in Windows 10. And also the settings app is basically simplified because you don't have all those options that you can encounter inside a pro version, the AI stuff and so on. I think that is good in my opinion because it makes this operating system more reliable and faster. So the operating system that I'm testing right now is an evaluation of Windows 11 LTSC. That's why I said we will only be able to use it for about a year and I'm going to have in the article go below the official Microsoft website where you'll find more info about Windows 11 LTSC 24H2 and also where to get it. I'm looking forward to hearing your opinion in the comments below about Windows 11 Pro versus Windows 11 LTSC and if some of you are maybe using Windows 11 LTSC already. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.